Okay, so we're going to go through some core concepts about endometrial carcinoma. Um, firstly, there are different types. So about 80% of them are estrogen driven and that's what I think estrogen looks like. Okay, so 80% of them are estrogen driven. 20% of them are non-estrogen driven. And these are the really super nasty ones. So they are incredibly aggressive tumors. Um, so if you like Harry Potter, they are like the Voldemort of endometrial cancer. If you're a Star Wars fan, they're the Darth Vader or maybe the Sith Lord of endometrial carcinoma. Perhaps if you love Marvel, then they'd be the Killmonger in Black Panther. Uh, or if you're a Glee fan, then they'd be the Sue Sylvester. So even though they only account for 20% of cases of endometrial carcinoma, they account for the majority of deaths because they are so horrible and aggressive. And then there is a very rare cluster of um, uh, patients who will have something called Lynch syndrome, which is a, a disorder which genetically links, it has genetic links to certain cancers. So there are certain breast cancers that in the same patient can be linked to colon cancer, ovarian cancer, uterine cancer. So those patients will have a genetic predisposition to getting cancer in those sites. It's incredibly rare and there would have to be um, quite a significant family history of one or more of these cancers for you to think about this syndrome. Okay, so how will uh, all of these endometrial uh, carcinoma types present? Well, duh, we're in the postmenopausal bleeding section of your online learning. So there, the patients are going to present with some form of bleeding. Um, it's going to be irregular. Um, <clears throat> as I said, this is a... So the carcinoma is not normal tissue. It's not under the governance of any uh, normal um, pattern that the body may have. So the bleeding is going to be completely irregular. It may be spotting or it may be much heavier. It may be like a normal period. But any kind of bleeding um, would make you think of an endometrial carcinoma. Um, remember I said... No, we'll come back to that in the next video. Okay, another symptom... If you've got a cancer eating away at your body, it's going to hurt if it's progressing. So there might be some lower abdominal pain. And then this is my very sophisticated and elegant illustration of weight loss. So maybe that was the body mass before and now we have a stick figure. So cachexia, um, weight loss, other constitutional symptoms like just generally feeling unwell or sweating at night. Just not lacquer. Okay, so we've got our two uteri here who are calling, crying desperately for help. Uh, so let's help them. We're going to move on and understand more about the commonest type of endometrial carcinoma.